Oh my gosh, look at this college campus. This place is huge. And there are science labs, art exhibits, and there are the dorms over there. Yeah, yeah, that's great and all, but this place is way too expensive. I'll get into this college one way or another. Cha! Down it, you stupid idiot! Cha! Ah! Yeah, this looks so much fun. Take this, Malcolm. Julia, knock it off! I'm not taking any notes from you. Take this! Ah! Ow! 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 Oh! 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 My leg! Yeah, on second thought, I definitely can't pay for this college. Neither your medical bill. Good luck. Dad, wait, stop! Ha <laughs> ha Look at that stupid loser in the hospital bed. He's the biggest idiot I've seen in my whole life. Guys, come on. Just leave me alone, okay? You're my brother and sister. You're not supposed to be making fun of me. Oh, what? Are you gonna cry? Just walk it off. On second thought, stay right there. I'm gonna take a selfie of you. <laughs> you look so dumb. I'm gonna post this on my Instagram and everyone's gonna laugh at you. You know what? If you guys are just gonna be here and make fun of me, get lost. I thought my brother and sister would check on me and see if I'm okay. That Instagram post is really funny. I know, right? You're making fun of me too? <laughs> yeah. So what do you want, doctor? Am I good to go? So I gotta fix your leg. And this isn't gonna be easy. It's gonna hurt. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's stay and watch. Record it. Hey, Mr. Baxter. Oh, Malcolm. How you feeling, kid? Uh, the leg is still pretty sore, but I'm doing okay. I just wanted to see what lessons I missed while I was out. Uh, that should be the least of your worry, all right? You just broke your entire leg. Yeah, if it wasn't for my stupid older brother and selfish younger sister. Family's always tough. Yeah, you're telling me. But that's not going to stop me from getting that scholarship into Wellington University. I have to go there. It's the best medical school in Roblox. And you know how bad I want to be a doctor. Of course I do. You don't stop talking about it. And if anyone can do it, it's you. Well, thanks, Mr. Baxter. You're the one that's really helping me. Well, you're keeping your grades up. You're one of the smartest kids I know. So just keep your head up high and you'll be fine. It's like you always tell me, the hard work will pay off. By the way, how's the, uh, how's the college application going? Well, I started it, but then I spent like a week in the hospital with this busted leg. Well, you better get to finishing it because it's due today. Wait, the application's due today? Oh man, of course it is. With all this extra tutoring Mr. Baxter's giving me, I know I'm gonna pass all those entrance exams. Well, 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 look who it is. Do you have any idea what time it is? No, I don't, I'm sorry. I must have lost track of time. It is 9.30 and your curfew is at 9 p.m. I was busy studying. Studying? Likely story. You know what, mister? I set these rules in place so that you'll follow them, not break them. Mom, I said I was- You are grounded. Grounded? You know the rules. If you are out past curfew, you are grounded. Hey, mom, sorry. I'm late. Oh, hi, sweetie. How was the party? Ugh, it was fine. Lindsay just wouldn't stop talking, and I lost track of time. Are you kidding me? Julia's out past curfew? Is she getting grounded too? Well, of course not. Well, that's not really fair, is it? I am your mother. How dare you? Yeah, what's your damage, Malcolm? I just don't think it's fair that you're out past curfew too, but I'm the only one that gets in trouble. Oh, poor you. I'm the middle child. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so sick of this attitude, Malcolm. Yeah, it is so... So lame. You are grounded. Now go to your room. I can't stand to look at you anymore. Fine, whatever. Oh man, how am I supposed to mail off my application if I'm grounded? Just cross my fingers and hope I can mail it off tomorrow or... No, I can't risk it. I've got to sneak out. I really hope no one's awake. They're definitely asleep. What are you doing up, Malcolm? I have to drop off my college application. Don't tell anyone you saw me, okay? Ha <laughs> ha, why would I ever do that? You submit your application? Not a chance. Donnie, just get out of my way, all right? They won't accept you anyway. Clock's ticking. Post office closes in 30 minutes. Ugh, you're the worst big brother ever. <sighs> I gotta make it. Ugh, man, this job sucks. Why did I agree to do this? Hey, hey, wait, hold up, hold up. Oh my gosh, what? What do you want? Please take this application and put it in the mail. Oh my gosh, did you run all the way here? Please, sir, I really need this application to go out tonight. Fine, whatever. I really appreciate it. Just shut up, okay? You're gonna make me late. I gotta watch my soap operas. I still haven't heard back from Wellington University. Man, I hope I get in. What do you think you're doing out there, huh? This is the worst kind of play-in I've ever seen in my life. Chow, sorry, coach. I mean, why don't you go blame that other kid? I already got my way. You want to be the captain of this football team? Chow, I know I have what it takes. Well, the captain of the football team doesn't play like a big idiot. 
You're running the wrong play again. And the championship is this week. Donnie's under a whole lot of pressure from the football coach. If you can't play right, you can't play at all. Get off the field. Child, whatever, all right? I was tired anyway. God, mom and dad are gonna be so mad at me. They're gonna start paying attention to stupid Malcolm. Man, this sucks. I hate to say it, but I'm actually starting to feel bad for Donnie. Ugh, this is so dumb. I'm so sick of this. Julia, hey, what's wrong? Ugh, I'm studying for this stupid history test. I mean, history happened in the past, so like, who cares? I can help you study if you want. Really? You would do that? Yeah, of course. Let me see. Oh, come on, American history. Julia, this is so easy. Yeah, super easy for you because you're super smart. I just don't get it. No, Julia, look at this, okay? All your dates are listed right here. And Julia, are you even paying attention? Oh, sorry. I got a text from Lindsay. You know what? If you're not going to take this seriously, then you're on your own. Wait, come on. You're supposed to help me. I'm your little sister. Yeah, and I think it's time you learned a little bit on your own. I'm here to help you if you're serious. But if not, good luck. Oh my gosh, Julia, are you ready for the test? It's gonna be so hard. Yeah, I'm totally ready. Oh my gosh, what's that? It's Malcolm's old test when he took it. He got a 100, so I'm just gonna copy it. Oh my gosh, Julia, you're so bad. Yeah, you should totally give me those answers too. Okay, I'm gonna copy this over. This one is B, and this one's D. Uh, oh! Julia, what is this? Where did you get this? This is a test from two years ago. It was my brother Malcolm. He gave it to me. What? Uh, hi, Mr. Wilson. You called me in. What's going on? Malcolm, I thought you were a good student, but this is crossing the line. Crossing the line? You gave your sister a copy of your test so she could cheat? <gasps> Julia? Malcolm, you're going to the principal's office. Hey, uh, Malcolm, is it true? Did you really give your sister that test? I heard everything from the principal. No, I did not give her that test. I don't even know how she got it. Oh, uh, man. I knew that principal guy was crazy. Never knows what he's talking about. And just leave it to my little sister to get away with everything. So you wanted me to come in early? Yeah, I, uh, actually have a surprise for you. A surprise? What is it? Why don't you take a look for yourself? Oh, my gosh. I got into Wellington University? That's right, Malcolm. All of your hard work finally paid off. And they're gonna offer you a full ride scholarship oh, oh my gosh this is this is insane is this a dream tell me this is not a dream no just calm down before you pass out malcolm you need to realize that this is reality okay your hard work does pay off i always believed in you and it's evident that you believed in yourself thank you so much mr baxter i think this is the best day of my life i'm gonna put this in my locker keep this nice and safe oh i can't wait to tell mom and dad yeah he's not telling mom and dad a thing Mom, Dad, I've got something super important to tell you. I don't want to hear a word out of your mouth, Malcolm, until you explain to me what happened with your sister today. You seriously believe her? This is your young sister you're talking about here, and you're having her cheat? So irresponsible of you. I haven't been doing anything bad. I've been working super hard at school. Yeah, well, obviously, that's not enough. Why can't you just be more like Donnie or Julia? Uh, you know what? That's it. I'm not like Donnie and Julia because I'm Malcolm, and I don't want to be like them either. Don't you raise your voice at me. Maybe if if you and mom actually paid attention and saw that I've been working super hard, you would understand and appreciate me too. I, uh... Yeah, exactly, dad. Don't have much to say, do you? Whatever. I I'm so done with this. Malcolm! Malcolm, come back here! Are we seriously doing this right now? <laughs> Stupid little punk Malcolm doesn't deserve anything, especially this. That's his college scholarship. He needs that to get into school. John, without it, he's a total loser. Wait a second. Did someone break in my locker? Why does it look like this? What the heck? Where are my college papers? Oh, they've got to be here. I put them right here. Hey, uh, Mr. Baxter, my acceptance letter and my scholarship are missing. What? How did that happen? It looks like someone broke into my locker and stole it. This this letter meant everything. If you don't have it, then you can't get into school. Yeah, but it's not valuable to anybody but me. Who could have done this? I don't know, but I'm sorry to tell you that I don't think you can get in without it. This was Wellington University, my dream school. Just calm down, all right? You got to find a way around this. No, I'm going to find a way to get that scholarship back because I earned that. One way or another, I am going to Wellington University. Oh, 
maybe I brought it home somehow. Come on, come on. Hey, Donnie, have you seen my scholarship anywhere? Uh, nah, dude. Why would I even care about any of that stupid stuff? Come on, man. Just think. This is super important to me. I don't care what's important to you. It has nothing to do with what I'm doing. All right, Donnie. You ready to go or what? Dad, where are you going? Oh, I'm taking Donnie and Julia to dinner, you know? You know, celebrating with my two kids that don't raise their voice at me. You're taking them out to dinner? Raise my voice? Dad, you're the one that started all of this. And none of you are helping me look for this scholarship. Ah, uh, there he goes again, raising his voice. Cha, didn't you just hear what he just said, man? Oh, let's go. You know what? Fine. I wasn't hungry anyway. You're not special at all, okay? You don't deserve anyone's attention. You're literally just the middle child that everyone forgets about. Oh my gosh, did you see her hair? It looks so busted, Julia. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, Julia, can we talk for a second? What are you doing here? Can't you see I'm hanging out with Lindsay? Julia, this is important. I've been looking for my scholarship for a couple days now, and I can't find it anywhere. No, that's super sad. Julia, I know you know something. Tell me, what's going on? Who took my scholarship? Fine, it was Donnie, okay? Look, he said he didn't deserve it or whatever. What was I supposed to do? Stop him? Well, where is he? <sighs> He's at his big game right now. I knew he had something to do with it. I could just tell he was lying to me. I feel really bad, Malcolm. I'm sorry. Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you do anything? Because honestly, I'm jealous of you. You are super, super smart. You focus and work hard, and I wish I was more like you. You are smart. If you just focused on studying more instead of partying and hanging out with your friends, all your grades would be better. Look, I'll help you with school and everything, okay? I'm still your brother, and nothing's gonna break our bond. I'm here for you no matter what. Thanks, Malcolm. I know Donnie has that scholarship on him. He keeps it with his football equipment. <sighs> Thanks, Julia. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot stress enough the importance of this game to the school, the town, and everybody in it. We sure hope the home team wins tonight. John, I'm so ready for this. You better be, and you better not mess this up. Hedge, come on. Y you know I'm capable. The entire town's watching, too. I have to. Exactly. Now get your head in the game. All right, you got this, Donnie. You got this. Donnie, where is my scholarship? I know you have it. John. What are you doing here, Malcolm? You can't just be in the middle of the field like this. You can't steal things from your little brother. I can do whatever I want, okay? So you did steal it. Admit it. Maybe I did, all right? What are you going to do about it? Finally stand up for myself and not let you push me around. Give me back my scholarship. Don't you talk to me that way. Ugh. Oh, -ho. that's it. Ah! Right, get off of me. I'm sick and tired of being treated this way. Ha, huh. you don't even know the beginning of it. Why ruin my life? Because, all right, Malcolm, Look at how smart you are. All I have is football. I'm jealous of all of your talent that you have. And I'm scared of mom and dad being more proud of you th than me. So that gives you the right to ruin my life? Tony, pull yourself together, dude. Um, are we are gonna, gonna start, start this, this game, game or do I have to call security? security? You shouldn't be afraid of that. You're your own person. You can't compare yourself to me. Of course you're good enough. And you can show everyone by winning this game. My brother and I love you. Really? You mean not? Yeah, and mom and dad are proud of you too. You're right, I I'm sorry. Here. Thanks. Now go win this game. 